Hi guys, today I'm going to start writing my own web search engine. This would be uh, more like for fun, not for some production uh, stuff like that. So uh, I decided to, to use this uh, Wicca article as the entry point of understanding how basically a web search engine works. I, I don't really know much about this yet and I've never done this before. So in this video login series I'm going uh, just to start implementing uh, a custom web search engine on my own and I hope this would be fun. So web search engine uh, or in the net search engine is a software system that is designed to carry out a web search that means to search the world wide web in a systematic way for particular specified for particular information specified uh, in a textual web search query. Search results are generally presented uh, in a line of results often referred to as search engine results pages. The information maybe makes links to web pages images. Okay, this is clear. And some engines Oh, so mine data available in databases, open data directories. Okay, it's not that. Approach. Okay, so so here here it is. Uh, basically, the search engine uh, maintains the following processes in near real time. So web crawling, indexing, and searching. So uh, web search engines get their information by web crawling from site to site. The spider checks for the standard file name robots.txt address to it. The robots.txt file contains directives for search spiders telling it which pages to crawl. After checking for bots for, for robots.txt and either finding it or not, the spider sent certain information back to be indexed depending on many factors such as the titles, page content, JavaScript, uh, cascade style sheets, hidden or in metadata in HTML metadex. Okay, so indexing means associating words and other uh, definable tokens on the web to their domain names and HTML based fields. The associations are made in a public database made available for web search queries. A query from user can be a single word. Okay, between visit, visits by the spider, the cached version of page stored in the search engine work memory in is quickly sent to an inquirer. Okay, so basically I need three parts. I need to write a crawler and then I need to store the data into the database and finally try to make a simple web application to reference the database in order to retrieve the data. And uh, another issue I've faced here is basically I'm not really sure how does the real world uh, search engines uh, get the initial list of domains to, to start search. So what I'm supposed to do now, ju just to uh, just understand the idea itself, is probably uh, I'll use only one site for now to crawl and store that into the, into uh, and store the links uh, and I, I want to index just one site and this would be guess what? Yes, Stack Overflow and Let's see what we have in robots.txt, so it discloses lots of stuff, but hopefully not the tags search, or, okay, tags, tags, and it disallows some torturing user agents, probably, okay, so if we just go to all questions okay okay hold on a sec where is it here okay let's see so okay it is all the questions tagged does this mean anything oh you know it allows only to okay let me show you guys all right uh, that is how i understand this so let's say head questions okay so we can probably 
parts or scrape all this 18 million questions on Stack Overflow and if we go to tagged and say try Python here that this is still probably gonna be reachable so 1 million but if I say things like Python plus plus flask this would give me an option in web interface but probably not not in the requests well okay definitely I should have tried to find this out I also what I also would be needed uh, would need here is actually to be able go into the next being able to go into the next page but this this percentage sign makes me a bit worry if I'm low doing this so I need the page number here okay so as code monkey kins usually got uh, as code monkey kin uh, is used, used to do is just do by trying trial and error approach it's my favorite one so I'm gonna learn myself on how to do this basically okay let's create a new repo I've already uh, uh, been thinking about the name how to call this and I call this code monkey search code monkey Like this, okay. Okay, let's call this a simple web search engine made for fun. Okay, and let's add some readme file and create a repository here. Yeah, okay. Okay, now just clone this to my local machine. okay perfect okay so this is the readme okay that's great well here would be our f application web application as well and I'm going to use flask this time so just wondering about the project structure well for now probably probably I'll just simply create a, a document uh, a, a file called crawler pi dot pi and here I would be just implementing the crawler itself and I'll start from Stack Overflow as was mentioned already okay so yeah that's basically that start okay what am I gonna need here so probably the requests library of course I, hope I already have requests library installed and Soup four import beautiful soup. Okay. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? No, please. What have I done? Okay, okay this. I've just get cloned recursively. No, no more that. Okay. Well, this one. Great. Okay, so here I need Python three. Crawler. Crawler the pi. Yeah, nothing happens. Okay, this is fine. Okay, so. Let's create the start start URL and I'll use I'll use this stack overflow. Well let me just basically try this. Stack overflow oh let, let's start let's start with, with the questions basically. Like this. Okay. Okay, 
Okay. I'm not going to specify the user agent for now as well as any hitters, any other hitters. Well, just just try to do this the straightforward way and see what happens. Okay. And now it's time to parse content. Uh, and I'll use the Alex now parser here. Just see what's gonna happen here. It's not defined. Right. Of course, of course, it doesn't. Start your own stat. Okay, seems like I got something here. Okay, great. Okay, now let's. Okay, let's get back to the questions here. So I need to extract this uh, these questions. Basically, it seems it seems like what I'm going to store later on in the database, probably. Okay. Let's see the page source. Okay question hyperlink so we need this question hyperlink class for all the a tags and uh, this is basically the the link to the question itself okay this is great this is great yeah and where is the title okay so this is the title okay here okay so let's try to get this get these guys here okay so content okay get it. let's basically call this response for now okay and links equal content So I want the A tag and class named question hyperlink. Okay, now let's loop over the links for link in links. All this stuff I'm doing here is beautiful subspecific uh, usage. Basically, okay. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's pretty loud. Okay, so why did my relationship with my wife go? <laughs> what? A, what the hell is this? Why did my relationship with my wife go down by the heart? <laughs> what the hell is this? Did, did we have this? Oh, probably, probably he uses some. Okay. Okay, probably he t takes this as well. Okay, so in this case, we want to probably limit by the number of fifteen here. Okay. Okay, if I just try. Okay, let me see. So, how many guys in here? So the last one is 
Okay, or I can distinguish them by the question. So all the other stuff is basically I don't need that. Okay, just bear in mind that. Okay, um, now I'm wondering, can I, can I use fifty? Tap and use. Do I really need that? Well, why not? Okay, let's try. Let's try here. So I'm supposed to have more questions at the moment. Well, so now the last one is. Show text and how we're using CSS. Uh, what was just before that? Yeah, it's another question. Okay. So okay, this is this is good basically. So and. So, well, I can limit the number of links scraped here. But on the other hand, okay, let me think. I'm not sure how to do this the right way. Taking this summary here. Yeah. Well, definitely I can try that. Okay. So let me try for one. Two. Uh, okay, let me just. Try to find that diff and look. Start looking for the links within that diff instead of uh, trying to looking. Instead of trying to look for the links from the document root, basically. Okay, so. so class summary, is it? Class summary, okay. Don't need this for a while. And just print looks like this. Definitely, definitely not all the all the available questions here. Mm. Well, okay, then let's probably okay. So. Well, on the other hand, you know, like, if we just go to some other sort of site from here, this might be interesting, like, 
Well, what are we supposed to see there? Maybe we can even go, I don't know, wherever. So say we come to this question, so any links here available? Okay, lots of, lots of stuff here. So this is also... Stack, stack exchange related stuff. Well, but probably at this at this particular moment, I want to avoid this. Okay, so what to choose? Either to limit the links I'm finding in here, this line, or just find them all and then follow only those that are related to the question. Hmm. Well, probably let's go the second part, uh, the second approach. Okay. So say if if link no, not, not like this. If if question and linkage reference like this. Still not. Does it, does it have? Oh, come on. Does it have question in its edge, in, in its reference? I'm just wondering. Oh, questions like this. So let's say questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It does have questions as well. So let's avoid HTTPS apparently. Okay. Okay, great. So now I have only the Stack Overflow related questions here. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, for the real, you know, like for the real web search engine, th th this is a piece of crap, this line of code. But I just want to make something, something particular that that is in my mind, basically in my head. So I love myself doing things like this. As far as I, I'm doing this from the web scrap and background perspective. I think that's the right way of doing things. Okay. Mm. So let me think what am I supposed to do next now? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need to loop over all the pages, right? So over all of this millions, eight and millions questions so divided by 50 if I use this 50 pages per, uh, 50 questions per page okay still pretty a lot okay so let's just navigate to okay, I also need to scrape this one apparently to limit the length of the loop that would iterate over the pages. Okay. Page two. Okay, and in page two, this is still only 15 questions. So if I want a page two. Hmm. Well, okay. Okay, Stack Overflow. Okay. Let, let's go your way. You want that? Okay. I don't mind. It's still a bit weird to be honest. Why you don't? So you only allow this to do on the very first page. Oh, come on, is this a bug? Come on, guys, don't tell me I found a bug on Stack Overflow. That's impossible. 
page 5 and again it's just 15 <laughs> my god how is that possible guys this is stack overflow is this some sort of a bug okay forget that so yeah let's instead of this page size and we say page is equal number one let's see what we get here remove all downloaded files okay and now let's try page number two still hope still to get something here mm -hmm. okay Oh, I probably get the 50 questions still or not. <laughs> this is interesting, really. Okay, one more little thing is I have a handle if the endpoint is not available so let's let's check that out as well so I gotta face an error now okay don't okay just hmm. doesn't throw an error this is a bit strange hmm. Even like this. Okay. Oh, it's no schema supplied. Okay, if I just g give you a right schema. Okay, this is it. So name or service or service not known. So requests connection error. Here it is. Copy. I want to write to wrap this into the try catch. Block. As far as I make this within the functions, probably gonna be okay. grow some something that doesn't exist just to make sure it works okay and if instead we just make it a start URL, probably 
probably should work just fine. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, this is because around here. Yeah. And again. Okay. This is great. Okay. Wondering how many questions. Seems like it's fifty. Not sure. Oh, probably that's the reason why why the behavior of fifteen, thirty, and fifty questions per page is going the exact way it goes on this Stack Overflow. It probably retrieves the fifty questions, all all the available, and then he just limits this by JavaScript, something like that. Okay. Okay, okay, and I also want to wrap this intro except here. Maybe just sort of the better idea. Okay, just before doing this, I want to see what would be the exception. Okay, let's try to find. Let's put something that is not doesn't exist here and call the text. Now it has to throw an error. So not attribute error. Okay. Except attribute error. Okay, let's just. Okay, no, don't want to do it now. Okay. Yeah, of course. Of course. Great. Well, I'm just wondering, do I really need to follow these links? So if I do, then the text that is available, say this question here. So if I will be in my in my search database, if I say ask. Will there be an impact of data quality? It would return this question here. Is this a good idea, actually, or not? Not sure. So, do I really have to save the content itself, or maybe just li li limit myself with this, with this stuff here? Well, it's a hard, it's a hard question here. It won't be much of web crawling if I don't follow the links recursively. That's for sure. But on the other hand, do I really need that? Hmm. Hmm. 
that's the question, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, probably first thing I have to do is just save this description. Okay. Okay. Let's find the description. Or, wait a minute. Let me have a look at the source code here. So. This class excerpt. What a weird word. Should I have them? So probably 15, okay. Is there any questions? Just like the number of questions, okay. Maybe I should have. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, let's try to go the dumb way first. the same probably more than 50 even for oh oh wait a wait a wait a minute 74 and 50 so this is the number of questions okay okay so I found another way to distinguish between this so instead of this weird stuff we can just use the land of the description okay so in this case we can say for index in range from zero to land all the description and this is gonna happen for the fifty times. to call this let's call this question and this would be a dictionary of title and this would be links text links no no not this links indexed index text like this and then URL and this would be links index and a reference hope this works <laughs> okay and finally the description seems it works more, more or less just fine and I also want to 
import JSON module just to print this stuff a bit more prettier. Okay, so I'm not sure JSON JSON dumps. Yeah, apparently JSON dumps. Question and Spaces say and sort these true. So now it should print this stuff in a bit more prettier way. Okay. Okay, now I also get need to get rid of an extra new lines and and an extra spaces. Okay, I'm not sure how to do that, so let's ask DuckDuckGo. So Python, get rid of trailing white spaces. Yes, formulate this a bit different way. Python and string strip. You want to lead in and end in spaces, use strip. Okay, this is what I'm going to use here. So links text and we want to replace Maybe just we just strip does it do the job I wonder. Okay, it doesn't for why does description contain some Okay, hold on a sec, did maybe I just saw the wrong line here maybe I just want to look, look in the description okay the title is okay so we need the description okay let's try to strip the description strip okay it removes all unnecessary stuff this is so cool still have some new lines okay I'm just wondering why the description is going the very first. The order of these guys, of these keys. I'm just wondering why, why is it so? Description is going first. Hmm. <laughs> this is weird. Well, okay, let's first get rid of new lines. Okay, this is much better now. Uh, uh, I'm just wondering why it prints this such a way. I'm not sure really. Okay, if it just you just bring the raw dictionary question. Is this gonna be the same or not? I'm just wondering. Okay, now it goes right. Title your so this this is some sort of how JSON dumps work. Sort of keys. Oh maybe that's because I, 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 I used sort of keys. What if I don't use the sort of keys? Just wondering. Only the indentation. Okay, great. Okay, so just no, no need to sort of keys here. Okay. Title URL description. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool now. It's 
Still, it's not a crawler, it's more like a scrapper, but... Okay. But, okay. Okay, so this this little dictionary here would one day be stored into the Mongo database, into the cloud service, the free cloud service of Mongo database. I have an account there, a free one, and I've used it for many of my projects in the past. In the past, okay. Mm. Now we, what we need here is to loop over, over the pages. So, so this, okay, okay. This function doesn't really crawl. It, what it does, it just scrapes. It's probably let's better call this fetch URL. Or it doesn't uh, follow recursively. But okay, the same moment. It's called. It's not. Doesn't fetch whatever. Okay, so the problem here is that I'm writing the particular scrapper for for the Stack Overflow site instead of making something more. Um, instead of making some something more, how call this? More broad, maybe I don't know. So this just solves the particular task. It finds only the specific, the Stack Overflow specific classes here. So it's not the right way to go, basically. So maybe I just use Stack Overflow to maybe I will just use Stack Overflow as the site to test the more general implementation of this stuff of course it won't be won't be that flexible but still okay okay guys so probably uh, I will st stop this video soon so let me just Check this one more time what we have here. Okay. Yeah, so I already see that the approach I've taken here is wrong, so I had to somehow make it a bit different. So yeah, it's cool it's cool to have this sort of structure, but the way I get this data is actually a bit wrong. So I can use the title and the URL, but I can't use this uh, domain-specific class names, or it would it would fail for sure. So it's not an option here. That's the mistake number one. And and now the disaster here is the way I retrieve the description. So instead of actually uh, parsing this description directly from the page, I have instead recursively go to the, uh, follow the particular link and then parse whatever is there and store this, say the first characters, 100 characters, the first 200 characters, something like that, just as the description for the following link. Okay, well, but I'm never. I've never been doing this before, hence it's okay. So uh, regarding this code, well, probably, probably uh, I will just delete this, and the next video I'll start making something more like a crawler. Okay, and this one would probably be named as creating a scraper for Stack Overflow questions, maybe like this. Okay, so if this is going to be the scraper for the Stack Overflow uh, 
site, then probably it's a good way to create a tests directory here. Okay, so let's create a tests directory. And I would later just store this. As far as this is the login series, it's not a tutorial, so I'm not responsible for making everything right from the first time. Okay, so what I actually want to do now is I want to loop over the pages. Okay, loop over the pages. So let me just try to do this. Okay, so say for page. Okay, but how can I see the range? Okay. Okay, maybe let's do this another way. So get rid of this function here. Get rid of this try accept block as well for won't really happen in this particular moment here. So I would be adding those try accept blocks later on as far as errors would be occurring. Okay. Mm, response request get URL. Start your no, not like this. Sell for a while. So now I want to fetch this number, this number, uh, to use this as the limit for the for loop that would iterate over the pages on Stack Overflow. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 8, 2, 3, 2, 8, 2. This is not available. Come on. Okay, page numbers.
going to use the page numbers here. Hmm. I'm not sure how to extract this the right way. Well, on the other hand, I can add the page until until it is exhausted basically so let's take this one see what happens doesn't exist, then what happens? Sorry? Okay, let's try and make this. So it doesn't kind of <laughs> end up here. Just wondering. Okay, okay, let's try. Oh! sure about that 50 per page stuff okay so let's go let's, let's try the casual questions like this how many so ten more than 20 questions were asked on Stack Overflow while, while I'm doing this. Okay, so also this some response, but mm hmm. Those zeros, I'm just wondering what are those zeros in the output? Let's make, let's make just print question instead. What the hell is that, man? Hey, 
shit, what's going on? Oh, what am I doing, man? What am, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Okay. So probably, yeah, links. So, do this while links. Okay. Okay, let's try 95. Okay. Which one is the last one? Oh, come on. Just want to find the last available. Let's try this one. Copy. Why it doesn't work? I just really wonder. Doesn't make much sense, but mm. okay, let's try the sinks. Well, okay. Probably just forget that for a while. Okay. Okay. Good way of doing things, but still. Yeah. Okay, okay, so just let me, let me, okay, so I just forget about this, so let, let, let's say, okay, I will just look for, uh, okay, I would look over 10 pages for now, That's that would be enough, just, just to give you an idea. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Mm. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, for index, but I can't use the index. It's full page. In range, that's the board ten, and URL is equal start URL plus string. 
return from script like this, just one minute. Okay, it's out function, okay. Okay, so this is what I wanted actually to have here. Now would be just iterating over these things. So yeah. To see where one page ends and where another starts. Okay, yeah, it gets. Okay, so now he got 10 pages from Stack Overflow. And save all the questions. But again, this is more like a Stack Overflow scrapper instead. Yeah, it's instead a real crawler basically, so you can see my separators to be honest. Okay, here they are, page number seven. And all the related stuff here. Well okay. Okay, so I just rename this to Stack Overflow Scraper. Stack Overflow. Like this. Uh, what am I supposed to add here? Well, let's bring some commands in. is the base URL. And here we we'll loop over stack overflow questions pages. So here we create It's not not quite compose. No, how to call this? The the right word would be concatenate, but I don't remember how it's written in English. So now let's try just create. Okay, get URL. Get next page URL like this. So make HTTP get request to the given URL sparse content with beautiful soup. Let's just parse content, that's enough. Extract 
extra question description. Get brand new rows, okay. And here. Okay, let's now try to run this again. Okay, and it works. So, what we got in this video login series, in this part, yeah, so we have how the output result, the example output result should look like. But the way we uh, but the way we actually got this is not really is not really right. It's not a web crawler. It's instead just a web scraper that scrapes the particular data from the Stack Overflow site. So next in the next session we're supposed to create something more look like a crawler and trying to get the same behavior, but using a more broad techniques. So we'll be following the links recursively and getting this description from the page that follows by uh, by the response of the retrieved page when we navigate to the particular uh, to the particular endpoint here okay so and this okay, let me just open this in okay desktop uh, go monkey search, cut, paste, and the last. So it is a Git repo. I'm just wondering. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I just commit the changes. Get at all. Not really a sc real scrapper, but okay. And get push. Okay, so at the end of this video, the link would be available, I believe. Okay, guys, so the next session I'm gonna basically start writing a real cr crawler. I'm sorry for this inconvenience, but you know, th the idea is I wanted to show you the development process itself, well, at least how it goes within my own uh, inner world. Like, yeah, so how, how, how am I doing this? So what you've seen now is, is actually how I do my daily jobs in many respects. Well, in some cases, uh, the tasks the tasks might be defined in a far more clear way. But still, you know, it's you, you're not you, you can't know for sure in all all, all the time. You, you can't be you can't be sure that you know what exactly you need to do at this particular moment. So it often happens that you need to try just try doing something and go the trial and error method. And in that case, you you would actually end up with an understanding of what is the exact goal of what are you doing now so bearing that in mind we will continue in the next part of this video login series okay guys until the next video and take care